Preparing your child for a university sexual misconduct hearing in Washington needs to take place as early as possible in the disciplinary process. As soon as the college or university notifies your son or daughter of the allegations against him or her, you need to bear in mind the prospect of a hearing taking place. When the accused student, the respondent that is, when they respond to the allegations, it needs to be done as effectively as possible because it will be challenged during the hearing process. Anything that would support the accused student's version of events needs to be presented to the school at the appropriate time. Witness and witness statements, documentary evidence, expert reports may need to be obtained. Prior to the hearing taking place, an investigation report will be prepared and presented to the hearing panel. The hearing panel will review that and will have a good understanding of the case before the hearing even takes place. That's why it's critical that the investigation report be as strong as possible. For purposes of the hearing, an opening and closing statement needs to be prepared. Questions including applicable cross-examination questions need to be prepared for the complainant, the respondent, the supporting witnesses as applicable. There also needs to be oversight and accountability for the hearing process and the hearing panel. An experienced attorney advisor will be your son or daughter's best ally in both preparing for and defending at a university sexual misconduct hearing in Washington.